training in Hammond, Indiana for the World Wrestling Championships in September. As WGN's Patrick Elwood reports, their minds may be focused on the competition, but their hearts are with loved ones back home in the middle of a war. From half a world away, the Ukrainian national wrestling team is now training here in the Chicago area at Hammond Central High School. Yes, it was uh, uh, 5 or 4 uh, a.m. Uh, I sleep and I hear only bombs uh, in Kiev. That's Zan Belenyuk talking about the first Russian bombs that dropped in his hometown of Kiev on the morning of February 24th. We uh, don't invade to Russia. Russia come to us yeah. on our land, and uh, every, every day uh, they kill our children, uh, destroy our infrastructure, and uh, uh, do a lot of bad things in this war. He is one of 16 Ukrainian national team wrestlers and two coaches ordered out by President Vladimir Zelensky so as to train for the World Championships in September in Serbia. They are using the pool, track, fields and gymnasium at Hammond Central High. Indiana Governor Holcomb met with the Ukrainian ambassador just two weeks after the invasion began and extended the offer to help in whatever way. So here they are. As welcoming as they say Hoosiers have been and extremely proud they are to represent their country, on one hand, they'd like to be in the fight at home, on the other. <laughs> Vlad and Kozlyuk is from Odessa, Ukraine. He's 25 years old. He left home a border guard in the army. His father is also in the army. And what about mom? As war wages on, never knowing who or where the Russian bombs will fall next, it's hurtful. It scares him. Anna Krasenko is the team's translator. All his family is uh, thrown through the, through the world. Uh, his mom is alone over there right now. His mom, he calls her, her all the time, yes, of course. But it's, uh, yes, of course. He's, uh, he's in connect with, with, with the whole family, unfortunately, but they're split all around the world. And so they do the best they can to focus on their mission at hand as the battle back home sees no end in sight. I want to go to home, yeah. I must train in, I must uh, prepare for champion world. Alexander Chernetsky is an Olympic bronze medalist. At 38, he's the salty old dog, a soldier, a veteran of the squad. His hometown of Mariupol has been pummeled with bombs, targeting civilian structures like schools, hospitals, and homes throughout the city. They've been destroyed, including his. And people have died and been critically wounded as well. His wife, son, and daughter have fled west toward Poland. His brother-in-law is dead. My um, sister, uh, husband, is military, is the same. I'm same military. And my sister, husband, has died for yeah. this war. Yeah, I see, I see, uh, uh, and feeling for my heart. No one on this team has not felt Putin's war of aggression. Parviz Nazabov is just 23 years old. Parviz says his mom, dad, brother, and sister are part of the resistance too, but his best friend is gone as well. Until it actually has happened, nobody believed that it would happen because, you know, uh, they, say, they, they used to say that Russians and Ukrainians were really close, but now we see that they're our enemy. They head to the city and Ukrainian village to the camaraderie of their fellow countrymen and women who are here in Chicago as well when they can. Those times are good for their hearts and souls. And while they train their bodies for the competition in September, when that time is over, they will head back home to join the fight again in one form or another. They say they are indebted to the U.S. for all of the support. Zahn says it's just him and mom at home, and while they talk by cell phone as much as they can, he can't wait to see her and hug her again. But he goes one step further in regards to the necessities of this battle. Without any weapons, it's uh, so difficult to... 
uh, get a victory. And win is what they say they will do from first to last on this squad. They tell me that the Russians will be held accountable for their war crimes. Ukraine will not give away parts of their country to Putin as a condition of peace. And they say they will never, ever surrender. They've been under the thumb of the former Soviet Union for decades. And going back to that way of life will never, ever happen again. So in the parlance of wrestling, tapping out is not an option. Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Still ahead.